After my last video about Moray Thread Counter, many of you asked me to do flat self-assembly. And this is what we're going to do this week. I am so grateful for all of your suggestions and comments. It would be wonderful if you can share these videos with some of your friends so that my videos could help more people understand these interesting phenomena. Let us begin by examining our task. So it asks us to put a number of identical hard regular shaped particles in a flat layer on top of a vibrating plate. And depending on the number of particles per unit area, they may or may not form an ordered crystal-like structure. And it wants us to investigate this phenomenon. We can find many videos online that are similar to this phenomenon. And usually they demonstrate standing waves on a two-dimensional plate. But these demonstrations don't have hard regular shaped particles as they always use uh, sand or salt. And also it might not be in one layer on top of this vibrating plate. Our task is to see how these regular shaped particles could generate a crystal-like structure when they're being shaped by this vibrating plate. It seems slightly counterintuitive that by shaking it, we can make the particles order themselves into a crystal-like structure. As I will explain later, this actually makes perfect sense. Before that, let's take a look at our experimental setup. My setup for today is almost identical as the one that I used for the sinking bubbles experiment. We have a phone that I use to generate the signal using the signal generator app. Then that signal gets fed into the amplifier and that amplifier is connected to a subwoofer. And attached on top of the subwoofer is our plate. Our plate is a 14 by 14 centimeter acrylic box without the top we could put our regular shaped particles in the box. And the particle that I am using are airsoft pellets, which are regular in size and identical in weight. These will match the specifications that are set out by the problem statement. I made sure that my entire box is level by building a small stand with adjustment screws on all four corners. And if I realize that all of the airsoft pellets are moving to one side, that means that side is lower, and I will raise the screw on that side. As we see in my experiment, at first, I will increase the amplitude so that the airsoft pellets are disordered. And later, I will quickly bring down the amplitude so that they stay in place, so that all of the particles are uniformly distributed. Then, I will gradually turn up the amplitude of the shake so that they will be assembling themselves into the crystal-like structure. My hypothesis for the reason of their self-assembly is that first, the shaker provides some energy to the entire system. This will shake both the box and the particles inside. And obviously, when the amplitude is quite high, all of the particles are moving. But quickly, the particles will begin to collide with each other, and as they collide, that energy is dissipated. When some particles are clumped together, the friction force between the particles will keep them together. And when new particles begin to join them, that will cause the energy of the new particle to be lost as well. So our clump will grow larger and larger. But still, the shaker is still providing the same amount of energy to the system for a given amount of time. So that means that the remaining particles might have to move faster in order to compensate for the energy that is gained into the system. So I predict that for a particular amplitude, we will have a certain number of particles that can be assembled and the rest will be forced to move really fast to get that energy out of the system. So from this, I hypothesize that for a given amplitude, there is a maximum number of particles that could be clumped together in a crystal-like structure. I will show you my experimental trials and you can see for yourself. I am not very certain about my hypothesis, so if you disagree with me, please leave a comment down below so we can discuss this further. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and please enjoy the rest of the video.